Churches are being desecrated and vandalized all over France. So when the news broke that France's historic Notre Dame Cathedral was burning down, people started asking questions and who can blame them. In March, a seven-day spree saw Catholic churches all over France targeted with anti-Christian vandalism, including one church being defiled with human excrement. At least 10 instances of vandalism were recorded between February and March, including the desecration of altars, defacing of Christ on the cross, and more. A total of 875 churches were torched or vandalized last year in France. 875. And the media want to tell me people are crazy for even wondering if this might have been deliberate. Here is the thing. The tragedy that happened here at the Notre Dame Cathedral may well have been a tragic accident. Tragic accidents happen all the time. But equally, it might have been something else. The authorities have evidence to suggest workers should not have been on the site at the time. And so there is no reason for them to assume at this point that this is innocent. This could be something more. It might not be, but it could. And the media and the politicians are being extremely irresponsible by ruling it out so quickly. What reason do the French people have to believe the authorities? What reason does anyone have to trust the authorities? Are we meant to forget what happened in Spain in 2017 when a house blew up in the coastal town of Al Alcanar? We were told it was a gas explosion. Nobody believed it. Then, when the Barcelona attack happened, the authorities were forced to admit that the two were connected. Are the French suddenly meant to trust Macron? Why should they? He's brought this country to its knees. The authorities lie to us all the time, so I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and accuse anyone who is asking questions of being crazy or a conspiracy theorist. I don't know what happened here. Nobody does. It's too soon to say. It could be an accident or it could be an attack. Who knows? But we should be open to those possibilities until we really know, especially given the great many examples of churches being attacked all the time. And when all those churches were being attacked, this church, this cathedral, was being monitored for terrorists. I'm Martina Marcota, and I'm in Paris covering the tragedy at the Notre Dame Cathedral. If you like this reporting and want to cover some of the modest expenses we have, please go to rebelparis.com.